What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. If you're new to the channel, hi there. Today, I have right here the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. It's been a while since I talked about this device on the channel, but I wanted to discuss one main thing about this phone that's kind of like the, the biggest, uh, the most important factor that pushes a lot of people, including myself, away from this device. Something that uh, I just can't bear with any longer because it's just, it's just a hassle. Now I did make a video about, you know, it's time to switch to the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and why I did. And I'm absolutely, I love this phone. Like I'm super happy with my decision of switching to this device. Like it's just so compact and portable. The fact that it folds, this is my first foldable, but there's one thing that really kind of drives me away from this device. But before I do begin, I'd really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and turn on the bell notifications as it does help out the YouTube algorithm and will help push my content out to more people. Anyway, let's get right into the video. Okay, so the biggest reason to avoid this phone is it's simple. And many of you can already guess. We've seen it, this phone has been out for almost two months already. It's the battery life. It's the battery life that just does not perform well, in, especially in 2021 standards. This comes equipped with a 3,300 million power battery. And obviously you can tell that it's, it has a small battery. It's super thin. And I kind of, I understand they're going to fit a smaller battery because this device does fold. And in the coming years, hopefully this foldable technology does improve and we get bigger, bad, better, bigger, better battery life um, and battery capacities in uh, foldable phones. But for now, we're just dealing with a 3,300 milliamp hour battery and it doesn't get me throughout the day. Now, just for the purpose of this video, I did end up charging it beforehand uh, and it's at 85% at 523 p.m. But if I did not charge this, I, I still would have ended up charging it because by the time I took this out, I started using this phone at 7.45 this morning. And by the time it was 12, like it was down to like 30%. I'm like, I, I barely even, you know, use the device. If I go to battery, you can see like, I like it's just, it's not good. The full charge will last about 17 hours and 53 minutes. It doesn't even last a full 24 hours. That's not good. Like, I don't like that at all. So look at looking right here, since last full charge, uh, Screen on time says seven hours and 25 minutes, but that's because I've been using it on, like I've been using it while it was charging, while it wasn't charging and it's just not good. But you know, the last seven days looking at the screen on time, three hours and 10 minutes, what is that? Like just today, three hours and 10 minutes. If I go to October 8th, it says six hours and 14 minutes, but I charged it. You can tell how many times I charged it once, once at 12 a.m., uh, one before like 12 in the afternoon and one towards the evening, towards the nighttime. Like I charged it three times a day, a day that yesterday, at least at the time this recording on Friday, October 8th to get throughout the entire day. The, uh, October 7th, same thing. I put in charge three times, one at the nighttime, one in the afternoon and one at night again. October 6th, look at that. October 5th, there's an instance of like three to four times of charging. Look at that, October 4th. All of them are around like four hours and 25 minutes, five hours, that's because I charged. Like the more I charge it, the more screen on time I'm going to be getting. But like today, for example, I I really briefly charged it at like seven, maybe seven and eight in the morning. And I charged it before this video. And that's, that's just like, why? This, why? I understand, but I really do enjoy this phone. I enjoy this compact, it's a foldable, everything like that. But the fact that this phone just doesn't last me the entire day, like right now, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to fold this device, get up and leave and put this in my jacket pocket. And that's it. Like, I don't even need to, if I, especially in the winter time, the fall time, I put this phone in my pocket, it doesn't even take up any space and I'm all set to go. I don't need to worry about a huge phone like the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, that's actually recording this um, right up here. I don't need to re deal with any of that, you know, my phone sticking out of my pocket or any sort of that, uh, any, any, of, any of that stuff. But this, the fact that this is so portable, it's, 
it folds like I still just can't like I told I, I said in my video uh, why it's time why I switched to the Z Flip 3 is like my honeymoon phase with this device is not over but the battery if it's not if I have to charge three times a day I, I don't know what what I can do with it because I'm a heavy user I'm always on my phone replying to emails I'm always on my phone watching YouTube videos and um, staying on top of my YouTube analytics um, and also, you know, looking at news, social media, whatever it is, and doing a lot of calling and texting and web browsing. I'm frequently on my phone. So if this isn't going to last me and I have to, I'm going to worry about going somewhere and, oh man, my mind is on this phone. Is it going to die out on me during the day? We have a problem here. And for those of you who are interested in picking up the Z Flip 3, now I'm not, I'm not trying to push you away from your decision if you're, you know, on on board of picking a Z Flip 3, but I want you all to know, and I've had numerous people, like yesterday I, I stopped into a GameStop and I pulled out my phone to pay with Google Pay and the cashier was like, is that the Galaxy Z Flip 3? I was like, yes, it is. You know, I, I review phones on the channel and obviously I talked about a little bit about the channel here. Thank you all for watching, by the way. And they were asking me, is it is it worth, you know, upgrading to a, a foldable is it you know these foldables we're seeing them all over now is it the craze and i said hey look this is a beautiful phone it's awesome but the biggest downside for me has been battery life so if you're a heavy user then i would reconsider about this but go ahead and check it out in store at your local carrier store your best buy whatever and check out the z flip 3 in person it's a great phone it's a great phone but if battery is a concern for you when picking up a device you're a heavy user then you really need to sit down and take a look at this phone and be like, hey, is this, if this is going to last me the entire day, I'm all good. But if it's not and I have to worry about charging it in mid-afternoon or in the morning, whatever it is, or charging it when you're using it to take videos or it, it doesn't matter if you're playing games on this and you have to worry, the, the fact that you have to worry about charging, if that's a problem, then sit down and reconsider. Now, if you're a light user, like you you rarely use your phone, maybe you might call like two, three people a day, you might text a couple people, browse the web just a little bit, watch one or two YouTube videos here and there. Like you're not using your phone frequently, it's not coming out of your pocket and you're playing with it. Uh, I know people like that who rarely use their phone. They will not use their phone unless you call them. That's just how much they use their, that's just how much they don't use their phone. If you don't call them, they don't pick up their phone. It just stays there and the standby time on their phones are pretty good. Now, if that's you and you're that type of person like, hey, I'm a light user. I don't use my phone like 95% of the day. Like it's not my media consumption device. It's not my laptop. It's not my, I don't do my work on it. I don't do any, any of that sort. I just call or text a couple times a day, maybe do a couple emails here and there. Then this is really probably a, an awesome choice. Super portable. It folds it's compact. The cameras are good. They're not, they're not like wow me factors. Like they're not like the new iPhones or they're not even like the S21 or the S21 Ultra, but they get the job done. Like if you're going to take a quick photo or a quick video, they're good. It has the second lens is an ultra wide camera, which does perform fairly well. Uh, but then again, like it's not like your highest end smartphone flagship camera. So do keep that in mind. And also uh, this has this front display that shows notifications and you can switch through your like your music settings and whatnot there's some widgets here but honestly i literally don't use this like i'm always flipping the phone i'll use it maybe once in a while if i need to look at time then i'll be like, okay it's 5 30 but other than that like i'm always flipping this device and here is that so the main reason to avoid the Galaxy Z Flip 3, to sum things up in 2021, the main reason to avoid this device, and this is probably even relevant in 2022 with the Z Flip 3, is the battery life is subpar. Subpar battery life, it's mediocre, it's not good. For a light user, okay, I understand. For a moderate and heavy user, it's not going to get there. Like, you shouldn't at this point, Point we have smartphones that, you know, we, if you get used to a smartphone that you charge every night before you go to bed, that's good. Or if you don't charge until the next morning, that's that's awesome. And we're at a time where we have these devices. So 
coming back to this as a fold, I mean, it is a foldable. We got to give it that credit. Maybe the technology, or it's not, you know, it's not thick enough. It doesn't have that bigger battery. So what there's the reasons why Samsung didn't go with a larger battery. Okay, we'll put that aside. But having those other devices that perform really well in battery performance in the battery department, then, you know, we got to kind of like put this aside, bring those smartphones here and be like, hey, we have good performing you know, battery and the battery department, good performing phones, is it worth it over this flip phone? Is it worth making the sacrifice? If you can make the sacrifice for battery life, then this flip phone, this flip foldable Z Flip 3, which is my daily, is an awesome phone. But if you can't make that sacrifice, guys, you might just want to wait until next year with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 or with Samsung's next foldable or with another foldable in general. But if you can make that sacrifice, go right ahead. Z Flip 3, awesome choice. If not, I would say avoid the Galaxy Z Flip 3. Anyway, that about wraps up this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, like I said, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, and best of all, share this video and subscribe to the channel as it does help out the channel a lot. It helps push my content out to more people, and I'm able to make these videos because of you guys. All thanks to the support of each and every one of you who likes these videos, comments, and shares. It really does mean a lot. You guys make my dream become a reality. Hopefully, as the channel continues to grow, I have awesome things in the works. It's going to take some time, but hopefully, we're going to see some great, great things. Anyway, that's been it from me, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, Superman, that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.